Good morning, students. This is Mrs. Sadi Joseph, your science teacher. Welcome back to the online teaching for the session 2020-21. Let us continue with the same chapter, that is chapter 16, Light. The previous video we had seen what makes things visible, what is reflection, and what are the laws of reflection. Let us recall it once again. When the light from an object enters our eyes, we can see the object. Reflection of light means bouncing back of light rays when it is falling on a smooth and shiny surface. There are two laws of reflection. According to the first law of reflection, the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. That means, suppose angle of incidence is 30 degree, then angle of reflection also will be 30 degree. If angle of incidence is 40 degree, what will be the angle of reflection? It will also 40 degree and so on. What is the second law of reflection? The second law of reflection states that the incident ray, the normal at the point of incidence and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane. I hope all of you understood all these points. Now let us continue. In class 7, you had studied some features of the image of an object formed by a plane mirror. How was the image formed by the plane mirror? Was it erect or upside down? It was erect. Was it of the same size as the object? Yes, it was the same size as the object. Did the image appear at the same distance behind the mirror as the object was in front of it? Yes, the image appeared at the same distance behind the mirror as the object was in front of it. Could it be obtained on a screen? No, it could not be obtained on a screen because it was a virtual image. So, what are the features of the image of an object formed by a plane mirror? The image is erect or upside. The image was erect. It was of the same size as the object. The image appeared at the same distance behind the mirror. As the object was in front of it. It could not be obtained on a screen because it was a virtual image. There are two type of images that is a real image and a virtual image. What are the differences between virtual image and real image? A real image is always inverted and it can be obtained on a screen whereas virtual images are always erect and they cannot be obtained on a screen.
we will do one activity that is activity number 3 in your textbook we can understand a little more about the formation of an image by a plane mirror by this activity the source of light o is placed in front of a plane mirror pq this is the source of light two rays oa o and oc oa and oc are incident on it can you find out the direction of the reflected rays yes ab and cd are the direction of the reflected rays extend them further do they meet no they do not meet now extend them backwards do they meet now yes they are meeting at a point mark that point as o sorry i for a viewers i at e do the reflected rays appear to come from the point i since the reflected rays do not actually meet at i but only appear to do so we say that a virtual image of the point o is formed at i here the image of the object o is forming at i not by the actual intersection of the reflected rays so a virtual image is forming at the point i so this image cannot be obtained on a screen now do you know what is lateral inversion in an image formed by a mirror the left of the object appears on the right and the right appears on the left this is known as lateral inversion what is lateral inversion in an image formed by a mirror the left of the object appears on the right and the right appears on the left this is known as lateral inversion suppose you are standing in front of a mirror and uh, raise your right hand then in the mirror left hand will be raised and if you raise your left hand then right hand of your image will be raised so that the change of side due to a mirror is called the lateral inversion our next topic is a regular and refu diffused reflection what is regular reflection reflection from a smooth surface like that of a mirror is called a regular reflection due to regular reflection images are formed 
you can see the figure in this picture you can see a regular reflection is forming all the reflected rays are parallel to each other so this type of reflection is called a regular reflection on the other hand when all the parallel rays reflected from a plane surface are not parallel the reflection is known as diffused or irregular reflection it is caused by the irregularities in the reflecting surface like that of a cardboard so diffused or irregular reflection is caused by the irregularities in the reflecting surface in that case the reflected rays will not be parallel to each other can reflected light be reflected again is reflected ray light can be reflected again for example just recall the last time you visited a hair dresser he or she makes you sit in front of a mirror after your hair cut is complete he or she holds a mirror behind you to show you how the hair has been cut do you know how you could see the hair at the back of your head is it is because of the multiple a reflection of light for making a periscope we use two plane mirrors here also we are using the property of multiple reflection of light what are the uses of periscopes periscopes are used in submarines tanks and also by soldiers in bunkers to see things outside so in periscopes we are using the property of multiple reflection of light light can be reflected again and again that is called a multiple reflection of light this is the end of today's module i will explain the rest of the chapter in the next video till then thank you bye bye and take care